644 right now, checking out the weather. I think people are starting to make plans for July 4th. If you're a last minute oh, yeah. type of person, maybe not until Friday. <laughs> Wait, what's it fall? Because well, it falls on a Monday. It does. So we don't need to make plans. It's easy. That's we're right. working. The weather's going to be great if we're going to be outside, I suppose. Are you working? Yeah. Monday? Yeah. Well, for sure. Okay, me too. John? Yeah, I'll okay. be here. Raina won't be here still, though. <laughs> right. She's enjoying a big vacation. Um, it is going to be a vacation for us from the summer weather. We are taking temperatures down into the 70s in the days to come. Today is still going to be in the 80s, but compared to the 90s, where our inland areas and even San Jose has been in the following days, it has. it is going to be a really nice feel. San Jose, you're sitting under sunshine right now, as you are for most of our inland spots. There's a blanket of cloud cover sitting right across the bay and the coast and that's pretty familiar at this point we've been seeing that a lot lately our coastal and bayside areas have been kept cool by that sea breeze it's our inland areas that are in for quite the switch up today's highs inland in the 80s tomorrow's highs only in the 70s some morning fog some afternoon sunshine so why this change well that high pressure ridge is out low pressure and dip in the jet stream is in that's dragging in along with it some really cool weather in the days ahead of us much cooler than average for this time of year. Today, 60s for SF, not a huge change, not along the coastline either. Bayside areas, a little on the cooler side. Burlingame down to 72, back down out of the 80s to the 70s from San Carlos to Mountain View, and out of the 90s for many spots in the South Bay to just the 70s and 80s today. Similar change for the East Bay. Livermore down to 84. Danville and Walnut Creek, you were in the 90s yesterday. Today, barely making 80 degrees. Antioch and Vacaville, you're still our hot spots, but doing so in the upper 80s rather than the upper 90s and temperatures will further cool into tomorrow. 10 degrees down from yesterday today and another 10 degrees down for some of us tomorrow. July 1st on Friday and starting the month off on a much cooler note. We'll stay pretty cool all the way through July 4th on Monday as well. This is a great forecast for venturing outside, doing some outdoor activities, but even with the cool down, fire danger is still high. So account for that as you plan out the holiday weekend. Now, as far as our bridges go, 